The Center of Excellence Against Hunger has already engaged 75 countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America in technical cooperation activities in the areas of food and nutrition security and school feeding. This partnership between Brazil and the World Food Program is responsible for supporting programs to overcome hunger and poverty around the world. Well, the biggest dream is for extending social protection coverage. Now, this can be done in terms of social, uh, more social insurance programs, where we should be much more much more intelligent in terms of working out programs, like for instance, where we can also offer uh, social protection measures like free, uh, good health care, good education to people in the informal economy and in the rural agriculture sector. That is one, <laughs> one, one challenge. Gender equality is central to a world without hunger. Eliminating inequalities between women and men farmers would increase agricultural production in developing countries and reduce the number of hungry people by 100 million. What we're looking for is to see to it that the communities themselves are able to produce what the schools can then take and feed the children, which in increases on the homegrown school feeding which is the ultimate aim that we want to see as government. So that there's that linkage of the small-scale farmers surrounding these schools providing uh, the foodstuffs to the schools. Good health and adequate nutrition since birth until two years of age are indispensable for the development of a child. To prevent malnutrition and promote healthy development, we must ensure that breastfeeding children and mothers have access to nutritious food. Women have less access to the labor market and lower wages than men, which makes them more vulnerable to poverty. This is why social protection programs are important tools for stimulating gender equality. But because that's where they happen to be, they have not had access to education, they do not have access to, to facilities. So it is empowerment, and for me, of course, empowerment is through education and training because that's what opens up people's minds to possibilities and therefore they're able to, 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 to view uh, th their, their challenges in a different perspective and maybe even consider challenges as, as opportunities. It's a jargon, but really it happens the more enlightened and the more educated people are. Women empowerment is a way to achieve gender equality, allowing women to determine and shape their own lives and contribute to shaping the lives of their families, communities, and societies is key to sustainable development. Nós queremos mais, mais direito, mais educação, dentro de mais trabalho, mais desenvolvimento, mais conhecimento. Nós queremos tudo isso, gente, porque nós era uns prisioneiros. Era uns escravo, era um sofrido. Derramando suor para quê? Para os outros? Hoje nós derramamos suor para a gente.